Boys, good folks, welcome back to the channel. We are at a new location for me, for the boys, for the channel. We're in Pit Lockery. Uh, we have went, we were planning on riding in Dunkeld, but we've had terrible weather. Then we ended up going to another location, and yeah, weren't really into that. And then we ended up being in Pit Lockery. So we're going to check out the tracks. Visibility is minimal, but we've got a good crew. Got Jamie behind me and then he's got his mate Gary along with us and we've got Alec as well so two of us are on big e-bikes and then uh, the other two are on uh, little baby bikes so we're definitely outpowering them for sure this is my third or fourth ride on this beast and it's still going strong so I'm excited to ride it in a different place but gonna be good and Hopefully we can get in some good footage and some good riding. I mean, assume this is from the wind. Someone's cutting a nice little path. Oh, techie we climb there, that's cool. So nice to do this stuff on an e-bike. So we are at the top of Ben Cathro's pink bike track. This is the first time for me. Looks like it's pretty well road. It's obviously been rinsed a bunch by the boys and other people coming so this is the first kind of feature I believe we we're just scoping it out because you know it's something that we've not really rode and before so it's kind of like a rock slab but it looks really chill it looks pretty chill to be honest I think if you can come up here see the highly aye uh, it's just straighter into that and you're not turning on all that right uh, we wee rock slab, Jamie. So I'd say like try and come up here so you're straighter. Yeah, just high line. Aim for the right side, and he'll be yeah, sweet. Stick right. Yeah. Catch that burn. Alrighty. Let's do it. Drop it in. The inside was nice. That was smooth. It's actually very grippy too. Easy. Just let it roll. That's it. Let go. Lovely. Yes, well mate. <laughs> well done, mate. Yes, mate. Lovely. <laughs> Oh, at the bottom! At the bottom! Commitment! <laughs> Good shit! I've done the fucking half at this one. Smashed it! <laughs> Fun little switchbacks! It's really cool being able to ride this after uh, seeing it so much. Boy! That's not too bad! Woo! Hop that log! So slippy today, and this corner. Oh, oh. <laughs> Holy shit, is that your time? Yeah, how did you come out? I don't know. <laughs> okay, oh, this is so sketch. Oh, double, you can usually double that, or I've seen people double it, but not today. Up high, this is cool. Fast straight coming up, I believe. Wah! Little wipe, coming into the lower section. It's nice and, uh, nice and hard pack, actually. multi light choice there. Over the roots. Yo, this is so much fun. Let's get it, boys. Lower half. A little bit of rock. Bike smashing it over that. Oh. Woo! Pretty kicky, that bit. Quick way for the GoPro. We're gonna go round that puddle into 
open section. I think we can just pull up over this rock drop. Yeah. So I'm just going off memory of Cathro's track or Cathro's um, GoPro stuff. I've no idea really other than going off pure memory. Uh, we just go middle. Did your battery fall out? Your battery fell out? Yeah. Well, like, clunk? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you want to stop at the feature, that's fine. Yeah. Taking a cruise down the lower part of Capo's Trail. Oh, this is to go around. I thought, I thought this was the feature. You can roll this one. Huh? You can roll this like that. Kind of nice, that a bit of grippy rock slab. Whoa, it's like a fucking river. It's a river. <laughs> oh, there is a river. Proper river running down here. Ah! No! No! That's too deep. That is too deep. So off camber. It's a bit rowdy that. So we're back up at the top. We've already done a run of Cathro's track, a run of another trail as a warm up is super dark, so sorry about the food. The weather's just kind of, if anything, it's coming in more, so visibility's tough. The lens is out of the goggles already, so yeah, it's hard to not get dirt in my eye, but we're going to do a run down here, try and do a full run, hopefully no dirt in the eye, and then come back up, do a bit of sessioning, but it's fun just to be out riding the bike, trying to get a little bit more used to it um, on a track that's kind of difficult, so. Me and Alec, don't even know if you can, oh you can see him now. We're gonna drop in for a run and see how it goes. Yep. Let's get it. Gonna go inside. Maybe I'm gonna back it off a bit, go a bit slower. So up high, drop in, easy, up high there. Focus on that, getting that nice and smooth. Gonna go inside. Woo! One thing I still love about the e-bike is how much traction there is on it. I messed this up last time and pretty much messed up again. But we'll come back up. We do it again, got that better. Up high. Oh! Off the drop. Off that. Up high. Ah! It's so hard to see. I got that nice bit of slide in there, but we got good traction. Super high speed, this bit. Oh, giving the GoPro a quick wipe. Got out wide, out wide, out wide again. Out wide. Woo! Over the rocks. Ugh. Savage that bit. So many compressions. Woo! Got majorly bucked there. <laughs> Around this. Up. Off the rock drop. Got that better. Off the stump. Oh. Oh. Up high. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh, that was fun. I tell you, second time round's way better. 
<sighs> yeah. So much traction, I'm getting a bit more used to it. And on that track, it's like definitely you feel the compressions more with the extra weight on this. That was nicer though. So I just had my first little e bike scare. Uh, my motor and everything power button was on when I did that bottom half of the descent and then I got to the bottom and it was off and I pressed the power button and the screen flashed up and then it switched off did it twice I'm not sure why that is if it's water like in there or like it's just playing up or I don't know no idea let me know if anybody has had those problems before Shimano EPA so I don't think I actually have a problem with the bike. It's like possibly a sleep mode. So if it's in act, like not active for say a couple of minutes, it just switches itself off, saves, I guess, screen time and battery and everything. So it's kind of cool, but I need to read into that more because I did have a panic earlier and the boys were saying that their bikes is like a few minutes, five minutes till it switches off. So bit of a sigh of relief on that one. Woo. Boost mode on, boys. So this is Craig something downhill. Oh, it's nice. A little pumpy bit. Probably can't see a single thing. Yo, this is fun. This is nice. You can only s oh, this is so nice. Oh, it's like flowy almost. That was close. Left, 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 left. Using walk mode is so nice. It's almost like you're just not pushing. I need bike up. E-bike struggles. I had a walk on and I just slipped. Drop it in. Oh my god! What is this? Insane! Wow! <laughs> Whoa, that is so much fun. Fair play, shout out whoever built this. That is so good. Try and stay close to Alex, but not too close. <laughs> Dark again. It's like hard pack. Hard. Yeah. It's had a bit of work done to it, but yeah. <clears throat> Optional line back there, but <laughs> oh my god, dude, that was sick. That's oh, like that trail. That was the best trail we've ridden all day. Trail of the day, yeah. Genuinely, so impressed with this bike. Unreal. Look at the scenery. What a cool place to live, eh? No idea what this is for. Someone let me know in the comments. So that is me back from our day in Pit Lockery. It was super miserable weather, but I feel like what we got done was pretty productive. It's really cool to ride uh, Cathro's Trail. I'm sure you've seen it a lot, um, but it's been quite a while since um, I've seen any videos from there, and especially in that weather. Um, E-bike was good. It's like my second or third ride on it, roughly. So I'm still getting used to it. There's so much setup that I have to do. So I'll probably talk about that in another video. Um, winter is approaching. Obviously race season and everything is over, but I want to visit new places and ride in new places. So get in the comments below and let me know some locations that are worth hitting up. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you give the video a like, help support the channel. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, then give me a subscribe and you'll stay tuned for all the future videos coming. I'm about to be building a new downhill bike, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Peace out. See you in the next one.